So this is just looking at order of operations, and you've done this before, so we're just going to go through it relatively quickly. Um, so don't forget the B stands for brackets. The E stands for exponents. The D stands for division. The M stands for multiplication. The A stands for addition. Whoops. And the S stands for subtraction. One thing to always remember with BEDMIS is that division is not more important than multiplication. They are equal. You do them in the order they occur. So in order from left to right. So if division happens to come first, you divide first. But if multiplication happens to come first, you multiply first. It's exactly the same for addition and subtraction. You do them in order, the order that they occur, from left to right. So you don't always add before subtracting. You do whichever one comes first from left to right. So let's just look at some examples. Um, a couple new things to you in grade 7 might be some of the notations. I'm just going to take a second to explain it. Um, as you get older in math, they tend to not use multiplication signs anymore. So if we look at part C, you're not going to see any multiplication signs. You're going to see brackets. The reason why they do that is because as you get older in math, you start to be introduced to algebra. And in algebra, the letter X is used a lot, and sometimes it can just be confusing. So instead of using the multiplication sign, they use brackets. Um, some other things for multiplication are dots. So for example, this 5 bracket 3, you could also write that as 5 dot. That also means multiplication. Um, I would encourage you to try to get used to using these brackets for multiplication. And one thing that students always get confused by, for example here, is that 3 a bracket? Would that be the B in Bedmas? Or is that just multiplication? So the way I always think of it is if there's nothing inside the bracket to do, so for example this is just a 3, then it's just multiplication. But if there's something like this one, if there's something inside the bracket to do, do what's inside the bracket first, and then do your multiplication. And then um, some other new notation in this question here, you now see this bar. And the bar is just, remember, it's just a, a division symbol. So again, as you get older in math, sometimes you're going to see instead of a division symbol, you're going to see division represented with a bar. Again, I just want you to get used to that. Try to get used to some different notations um, and see how you like it because with time, I think that you'll get used to this and you'll actually prefer it. Um, it's just going to take you some time to get used to. So let's go through these examples. So for example, this first one here, we're going to do the brackets first. And the interesting thing with this one is within the brackets we have to follow Bedmas. Remember if you're not working with something you're just going to write it down and you're not going to change the order of the question. So we're going to keep our 6, we're going to keep our 1, and 2 times 3 is 6. So that's all we're going to do first. Then we're going to keep going with the brackets and 1 plus 6 is 7. Then we're going to do exponents. So 7 squared means 7 times 7. And then finally, the last step, we're going to be adding. Notice I didn't change the way the question was structured. I just did things in the order that I was supposed to do them, but I wrote the question as it was originally written. So let's look at the second one. The second one to you probably looks very strange, but don't worry. Get, you'll get used to it over time. So we're not going to do anything with the 4 just yet. And when you have this bar, um, it's like there's an imaginary bracket separating the top from the bottom. And so that's just something in math that you have to get used to. You have to sort of think of it as a bracket on top and a bracket on the bottom. So 10 minus 2 is 8. And then actually on the bottom, you have to do the exponent first. So you're going to have to do the 3 squared first. And then your next step will be the 9 minus 5. Then again, this bar is just a fancy way or a different way of showing division. So that just means 8 divided by 4, which is 2. And then finally, you're going to add to get your answer. 
So try to get used to sort of writing division like that with a bar, and sometimes you'll have the division sign and sometimes it'll be like this. It's just something new to get used to. And then again, finally, this last one again looks a little weird because there's no multiplication signs, there's brackets. So we're going to start by doing what's inside the bracket first. So 5 minus 2 is 3. Then we're going to do our multiplication. And we can actually do both of the multiplications at the same time. So 4 bracket 3 just means 4 times 3, which is 12. And 5 bracket 3 just means 5 times 3, which is 15. And then we're going to add them. So if you have any questions about that, let me know. I know that's a little bit different and a little bit new, but I think with time you'll get used to it. And as I said, as you get further in math, these are kinds of things you're going to see. You're not really going to see the multiplication and division symbols anymore.